Welcome back to another video and a brand new mini series that we're starting where we're going to be converting the outbuilding at our house into a workshop. We refurbed the outbuilding when we did the renovation on our house. It's a Victorian house, so it was originally a Victorian wash house, but the previous owners had just used it as a bit of a storeroom. We took up the original brick floor that was in there, but we wanted to keep that, so we reused it on various projects, including the border of the garden and the border of the patio. Once that was up, we put a concrete floor in there and a damp proof membrane, boarded it out and then tiled it. And then since then, we haven't really utilised the space, so I've decided to make it into a workshop to make use of the space and to save messing up the patio working from there. Right, so the plan of action is to build a workbench in there to work from and then put in some storage so that I can take everything out of the shed because that's currently overflowing. So let's head down there now and we'll start the conversion. Right, so now the space is clear, we can start working on the main part of the workshop and that's the workbench. I just wanted to build a nice, easy, quick and fairly cheap workbench that was nice and solid, so I built it out of CLS timber and some OSB. So I nipped a Wix, I got those for about 50 quid, which wasn't too bad, so let's get cracking. So that's the basic frame. As you can see, it tapers out to slightly wider at that end. I've not added any noggin sort of pieces across yet because I'm not sure how many I'm going to need. So I'm going to wait until the end to do that. I'll put the base and stuff on top. So next up, I'm going to screw this all together so that it's two separate frames. And then what I'm going to do is put these legs on and these will go like that so the bottom sort of frame will be off the ground and then the top one will be flush and then the OSB will go on top of that like say so I'll then decide how many uh, sort of noggins to put across
So that's it for this one. In the next video, I'll be fitting the wall storage. Thanks as always for watching. Make sure you subscribe so you don't miss any videos, and I'll see you in the next one.